Hi, Robin with Oxy Dry. And today I'm uh, cleaning this carpet for the second time. I cleaned it about three years ago. This is a nylon. And when I was here before, it had all kinds of nasty stains like it does today. Um, and they all did come out and they were very thrilled with the results. And um, then they did to get it cleaned again about a year or so ago and they had contacted us but we were not available in the time they needed it done so they got somebody else in and uh, apparently they used a powder system I, I assume the host system which i know all about i started a company in 1986 using that process would never go back to that again for lots of reasons uh, partly to do with uh, or similar reasons for the problems they run into when they uh, cleaned the carpet with the system about a year or so ago and the, um, they didn't get the stains out and then they were vacuuming out the powder for weeks and weeks afterwards which is pretty typical with that system it's, it's really limited into what it can do and uh, this uh, set methodology soil extraction transfer technology is vastly superior and is able to deal with these types of stains as you're about to see uh, these are a couple of Shelties, I think she said, created these stains. Um, and then there's two uh, early teen boys living in the basement here, and there's lots of bad stains, a big huge stain here, and all kinds of stains all over the place. Really bad here, and the carpet is really matted together here, and even on the steps, which I have yet to do. So, and now what I did is, I, of course, I did pre-vacuum very thoroughly. And, um, and then what I did is I pre-treated all these urine stains. I, uh, and I'm cleaning with oxy as a boost in the cleaning in my normal mix. And I just drew some out of the tank and then uh, sprayed that onto these urine stains all over the place um, when I was pre-vacuuming to give it uh, a little extra dwell time and penetration also. And now I'm gonna clean it. And I'm gonna be uh, applying the cleaner with the um, hog hair pad here, as you can see. And let's uh, see what happens. I've done two rooms upstairs already, an office and a bedroom. And the bedroom, actually both rooms even had uh, bad stains on. So far, success. Now the Go, uh, or the uh, Oxy All is a Bonnet Pro product. And if you go on their website, bonnetpro.com, or if you're in Canada, bonnetprocanada.ca. It'll explain all about what this product does, what it is. It does contain a pretty high concentration of peroxide. And that will help to deal with the organic stains. And, uh, and it does work very well. I only recently started to use it. And... Uh, definitely uh, works well. So we will uh, look the way across here. You can see the stains are uh, literally disappearing before your eyes. The, ox the uh, peroxide is already breaking down the urine mole molecularly. Oh, that's the word. <laughs> At the, mo uh, the molecular level. And uh, You can see it's taking out these stains rather effectively. I will be applying a little bit more solution than I would normally onto the uh, onto these stains just to give it a greater penetration down into the backing. But you can see this is working very well. And there was no odor present. I, mean, I couldn't smell any urine smell in this room. So uh, we're not dealing with that. <laughs> I'm not smelling it now even though I've sprayed the uh, carpet. But the peroxide would uh, address the urine smell too.
but it's really evening out. Looking really good. beside a lake which is right actually right beside a golf course this is an area this is in west corner I'm, I'm in west corner and this is an area called shannon lake and that is shannon lake right there not a very big lake i don't think even yeah you can't even put a powerboat on that lake it's pretty small actually but nice little lake slack out of the hole. So you can see the pretty bad spots here. But they're coming out just like that. Oh, look what I see. A little Bissell carpet cleaning machine. Can't tell you how many times I find those in these closets, etc. We buy them, pay two, three hundred bucks for them, whatever they are, and then use them a couple of times and they realize that A, they don't work very well, and B, it's a lot of work, and then they park them in the uh, closet or whatever. And, and then they end up on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> they really get the carpets wet though. That big nasty stain is actually right below me. And uh, all gone. You see that? It's gone. So simple. That's the beauty of the system. It's just so easy and simple to get the results. When you understand how to use the uh, equipment and you've got really good quality, professional grade cleaning products, it makes your job so much easier. I actually put um, this is my normal mix of uh, um, Nanomax in here with CLO2, and then I added the uh, um, okay, the Oxyol, <laughs> um, and I put two and a half ounces per gallon in. You know, and it's nice and simple to be able to uh, use these professional grade products because, uh, you know, they come with uh, instructions on how to use it and how to mix it properly and what ratios will work the best. You don't have to guess. You don't have to mess around with chemistry that, well, you really shouldn't be.
and as you can see it's obviously very effective. Oh. I see a stinging here. I'll come back out the other way. <coughs> This is actually the same carpet that I have in my mudroom. Not the same color though. The one in my mudroom is fortunately the color is mud. <laughs> so it, isn't, uh, it hides everything well and it's dirty easily. Dougie's running in and out and of course it's our entrance in and out of the house too. So yes, I clean it once in a while, but uh, It's a good thing to have on the floor because it does hold and hide so much. So I'm going to work my way back down the hall. You see that really bad mark? The, the marks are all gone. So I'm just going to work my way back down here. And then we'll switch over to the iron man. Got a lot of strokes on this carpet. I keep snipping them off, but there's a lot. They have a pretty big gum. Um, I believe it actually. So I guess he's the culprit. Okay, so we're gonna switch to the uh, Iron Man. You can see that uh, all these stains are gone it's just so easy easy to do and uh, a lot of uh, hair and fiber and there's a cat of course too that'll be there too some really bad stains here and uh, they're just gone.
again with the sprints. All over the place, I tell you. As far as the nylon itself goes, which is what this is, um, this is a good quality nylon as far as cleaning goes. It's a, um, this would have been a, I believe this is the Zephron nylon, which was, uh, I think was pretty much the pinnacle of the nylon fiber. Not too as far as its uh, performance, as far as cleaning goes, anyway. But this one is, uh, um, the style of the yarn is not uh, one of the better wearing yarn styles. And they pack down pretty quick this one, but it cleans well. When I post vacuum, <laughs> I'll be picking up all those uh, sprouts, of course. And there's lots of them. Hmm. There are the doggy upstairs. Really nice dog, very really friendly, very really happy to greet me. a lot better without the sprouts. seen the biggest change, worst areas in the overall process that I'm doing. I'm going to turn the video off now because uh, if I get too long, it's hard. It uh, sometimes doesn't, doesn't uh, upload very well. So I'll let you go. So uh, thank you very much for watching and have a good day.